Hello everyone, I'm Great Luke. thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 39 of Factorio with the C-Block mod, where we have been working on increasing our iron production for a bit, and well, we still don't have a full grey build, but I actually sort of want to just focus on the bus for now, maybe start automating production of all of these machines, if we can, or at least try to. Some of them might just be too complex, I guess. But we shall find out, I guess. Because I'm just loathing tr having to create all of these machines by hand. So let's stop that. And put some more space on the bus. Leave me alone. Oh, we need more land for that. Okay. Let's go grab some. I guess we are not really that short on iron anymore. But then if we're not, we should probably make some more steel. Also, we need more basic circuits. And we need to automate that on the bus as well. Maybe we should start with that. But then that requires machines that we might already be able to automate. I don't think so, though. Dang it, I have done that way too much. I want to produce some of these instead, because we need them for brown LG. Maybe we should actually have taken more landfill, I'm not sure. Because I also want to basically fill out this part so we can cut this corner when running back and forth. Good. We also need a bunch if we actually want to make a long column for <coughs> the brown algae. So let's have a look at that, I guess. Did we not have a recipe for that? I guess not. This we can remove. This we can remove. Maybe this as well. We haven't really done it, but we'll do it when we can or need to. This we can remove. So we want basic circuits somewhere there. Good. Of course we need these made locally. And we want a bunch of these. We might scale this down later, but for now this is fine. This is from wood, let's not do that. That is from paper, that's what 
want. And we just want this for now. Yeah, we need both. Just out of curiosity, can we get these exact amounts from the first recipe we had? No, we get way less brown LJ from this. Yeah, so that's not what we want to do. We will just use both recipes for green LJ and brown LJ. Because that's how we want to do that, and this is how we want to do this. Now, we don't really have a lot of space up here. But then we don't really need these full setups for it. We just need, what, 8 machines to in green? 13 for this. Of course we need to do some of this stuff. There's still gonna be a lot of different machines. Actually, let's aim for a full yellow build. Why not? This we make from... Not the product, but here, saline water. And that's just from one of these. And we need to avoid this. I think that's just about everything, except that this doesn't take the purified water for some reason. Oh well, let's not think too much about that. One clarifier I think can take this, maybe two. So... Let's... Dang it, I always get so confused when trying to move these things. That isn't what I wanted to move. This is what I want to move. To there. So that's part of the production and this is part of the production. Maybe we should split this out into production blocks, but... I don't think it's too bad. I hope. Well, maybe we should. Some of this requires a lot of machines. I don't know if we can do this easily with a good setup. Because this is a heck of a lot of machines. It just takes two builds in though, for one build output. But maybe some of this can be done in a directly feeding manner. That would be nice. We need all of these basic things first though. So if we do all of this in a line like we have done so many times before, that's easy. Then we get a pipe of this out. That is fed into this. Oh, we also need the carbon dioxide, of course. Into this, and that produces two belts of this stuff. We can just combine that into one build of this stuff directly. This one machine per, that's fine. And then we should probably export it from there to another column or something to merge with this. Sure, and then for this it's just make pure or saline water, get rid of the purified water, make this 
and turn it into that directly, I guess. Two machines per each of these. And then export it to another column. Okay. Let's just start with uh, the cellulose fiber. Yeah. And still, I want this to be a production block by itself. And I guess we then need to remove this. And that, and that, all of the stuff for the green algae, and then we can make this into another, and remove those two, and then do it down here instead. It just makes it a little bit easier to manage everything. That's the green stuff, and not that one, this one. And that is the brown stuff. Let's start with green, so 10 of those. Do we have that? No. And actually, let's pin this. Good. So I guess we are... No, we don't really want to build everything down. But we can design this part first, where we directly feed the assembling machines. I don't think there's a reason to make this <coughs> symmetrical, dual-sided, whatever you want to call it. I think we can just have 12 machines in a row. And yeah, of course, we need some space for that. That's all. Eight. Ten. Good. And we need to directly feed assembling machines with that. I don't think we're just gonna pair them up like that. And we need to move everything out because we have a pipe in here. Wait, that's iron pipe, let's not use that. Though maybe it's actually gonna be easier to acquire soon than stone pipe. Now, we need fuel for the... Oh well, we need carbon. Uh, yeah, whatever, the, whatever it's called. What is it called? Charcoal for the carbon dioxide. We haven't put that in, actually. Let's do that. It isn't a lot of charcoal, but we need it. So either we need to produce wooden blocks here locally, or we put them in from this setup. What would we rather do? Also, that probably means that we want to move this up. So we have the space for some furnaces. No, well, liquefiers and furnaces. This is still not complete. We want 15 of this per second, right? How come it's not just transferred from here? That's my Discord, sorry. 
Let's just quit that, actually. Okay. So this takes 15 in, but why can't we use the 15 from here? How do we do that? Do we just say matrix stuff? No. How do you move things up and down here? And... How do we link them a bit better? Why is that not thinking? I'm confused. Shouldn't that do something? Oh, there we go. I'm not sure why that was a bit buggy there. This works. Yeah, okay. Now this doesn't work. What? So doing this fixed it. But then if we leave it, it's broken. No. If we unlink that, it's broken. I don't understand that. I think that's that might just be a bug. Oh, just me misunderstanding something. Let's just get this pinned as it is here. Because then that should remember it at least. So again, we need some fuel. Can produce everything locally if we want to. But this is a long setup to have sticking up from the bus. So let's just bring it in from that setup first, at least. Now, how are we going to do that, though? We could just run it along here if we want to. Let's do that. And of course, everything has to be in the way down here. Well, let's not do this because that just makes everything harder on ourselves when we need to extend this. Okay. So now we have fuel. Oh dear. Okay, that was just stupid. My bad. I thought I could just kill a worm and then run away. <laughs> but that was obviously too optimistic. Oh well. Let's extend everything here. Oh, well, I guess we should stick to grey belt for now. But maybe not. Do we have a lot of yellow belt here? Nope. So we stick to grey. Let's actually just put that down, I guess. 
we will wait with the yellow. And maybe we should actually just... No, let's keep it. It's fine. Some things we do want yellow for, so... Yeah. Well, we m maybe we want to move this down a little bit. Let's just get everything set up. So one of those to two of those. Good. One there. in there. So that's the carbon dioxide, at least if we bring in some fuel. Are we getting our fuel? Yes, good. We need to connect that, of course. And input. And that's everything we need to do with this. So we should move this down. Let's not remove all of this, actually. Let's just finish designing this part before we copy too much stuff around. So this is the cellulose fiber stuff. And I guess we put that onto a belt for now, at least until we decide otherwise. So like that. And nice, those can even reach each other nicely, that's good. They can't power this though, that's a bit annoying. Dang it. Then we might just need these in between anyway. Because this won't be able to reach if we move it one tile. These won't be able to reach each other if we do that. So yeah, let's just do this. So we have this stuff now. And at least the idea is to have this built. Balanced. Of course, this needs to be a yellow belt, but let's wait with that. Because maybe we can convert it, or what do you call it? You can mix it with the brown algae stuff already closer to the production source. But then we would need this on a belt anyway. I think we are gonna do this. We needed 12 of these. Why did I only put down 10 before? I'm not sure. But we need that. I think I might have read 10 of these and then just been confused from, from there or something. And we need pipe. Yeah, let's not go full. Can we? Oh, you can change the size of your, size of your hut, I guess, with control. 
Er plus and minus? I didn't know that. I was hoping you could easily, more easily uh, increase and decrease the size of your painting tool. Is there anything else we need to make while we run around anyway? Some more of these. We have another liquefier. We have those, we have those, I think. But we can always use more of these. That needs to come down from the top, so that's fine. And then we need 10 of these here. Let's hope we can actually fit this in. Uh, can we just... Nope, we don't have a good... We do have a good blueprint for this. So, just go to 10. Yeah, so that's going to be a problem. How is that a problem? Dang it. Is it time to remove this stuff? Then we get a lot more space here. I think it is. Also, we need to fit this in below those electrolyzers. Let's try and remember that. Oh, these all backed up because I didn't know we have a backed up belt. Okay. Well, good thing we are getting rid of this old setup that isn't very well made. We are gonna need a lot more nanobots for this, I think. Also, we're gonna need a lot more space. Mm. Get rid of some of this stuff. Maybe we should just put something down in the chest where we can find it again. Because when pulling this down, we should probably increase the newer setup. Let's just... Oh, we actually have more nanobots. Nice. Well, let's go with this. Let's not pick up more fish. Come on, hit those please. Come on, nanobots. You can do it. How do you not have power for this now? Were they connected at the other end? I guess they were. Let's 
bit, that the robots take some of the things that take longer to remove from me. And let's go and empty our inventory. Come on, take the stuff. This isn't really the most exciting C2 thing to see or look at, but at least it's done soon. And here's our reason why everything had stopped, because these chests are full. Let's not have them pull out all of this stuff from chests. And I guess we're removing that as well. Okay, this gives us a little bit more space, probably not enough, but... It's a start. Dang it, nanobots, come on, do your job. Okay. Well, that's a bunch of stuff. Where did we put our landfill? Guess this was everything we had left. Good enough. So now we can fit this in. Maybe even the liquefier and the two crushers. if we're lucky. So this is what we will start with. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.